Nick, can you hear me, Nick? It's Martin here in, in New York. I, I can indeed. I'm listening to the verdicts coming in. Uh, somebody is uh, on the phone with the courtroom. Um, and I can tell you at this point we have uh, at least uh, five or six. I have eight guilty verdicts. Uh, I did not hear all of them because of some interference on the phone line. But thus far, the only count that they did not find is, has to do with a, uh, an alleged uh, attempted extortion with regard to some school grant money. But all of the counts that I heard, at least on the Senate seat, uh, were in fact guilty. Um, and uh, there's another uh, scheme involving a racing bill that, that also we have at least some guilty counts on. So you've had guilty on the attempted extortions. Uh, what, what about... And wire fraud as well. We're hearing that he's guilt, found guilty yeah. of wire fraud. The first, the first ten counts were all wire fraud. And, again, I had a little interference on three of them, but all the others were guilty. And then the only count where I have heard the, uh, the courtroom deputy say he did not have a verdict was on this attempt at extortion. Um, Jamie, your reaction. Okay. We, we've got a clock actually ticking over, and we yes. have 11 guilty verdicts yeah. thus far, including... Uh, wire fraud, attempted extortion, it's up to 12. It's as we surmised, Martin, the prosecution had a much more streamlined case this time around. Uh, the Blagojevich defense made some choices this time. Blagojevich testified. In fact, the first time around, the defense essentially put no case on at all. Uh, it's always uh, a hindsight is twenty twenty situation once you get the guilty verdict, but clearly they would have made different choices this time around. And we had a very long deliberations process process, which led us just a few moments ago to surmise that the jury was probably going to come back with some guilty He's verdict. also been found guilty, guilty of soliciting a bribe, and we have 14 counts of guilt. That's the shakedown, I believe. Uh, the bribe was the shakedown of the Children's Memorial Hospital executive. That means 10 years right there. And in the end, and of course Nick is much more up on the penalty than I am as he's covering this, but he's looking at uh, a possible at least 300 years in prison, even with the counts that the prosecution dropped in this case before uh, proceeding with the second trial. It's interesting. The law, and during the first trial, he didn't appear as... He didn't give any testimony, didn't speak. He gives seven days of testimony. Yes, and he's much more subdued. I don't know if Nick would share this assessment, but his, his demeanor this time around, in my estimation, was much different, much more subdued. The entire trial had a, a less circus-like atmosphere, uh, to my uh, take, as I watched it. We, Nick, Nick is actually following the trial and yes. getting information from the courthouse, yes. so he'll be back with us in a moment. But he did give evidence for yes, seven days, yes. and clearly that was a disaster. Well, it's generally not a good idea to testify in a case. Uh, and it seems to me in this case, uh, the first time around they had a hung jury, which we defense attorneys almost always see as a win. A hung jury is a win if you're a defendant because cases that go to trial, when prosecutors go to trial, they go to trial because they think they're going to win it. They don't take bad cases to trial. So if you hang up the case as a defense attorney, you've just succeeded big time. I think I would have followed pretty much the same strategy the second time around if I were the defense. Absolutely, Jamie. Nick, you're, you can rejoin us now. And what do you have for us? Do you have the total number of counts now? Yeah, it is my understanding that uh, there was only one not guilty verdict, but then there were 18, I mean, sorry, 17 guilty verdicts and two uh, counts on which they reached no decision. So my understanding is that he was found not guilty on a bribery count relating to a road building kickback, and there was no verdict in the other charge in, in that uh, particular alleged scheme, the attempted extortion. And then also the, uh, the alleged scheme uh, on a kickback or uh, a, a scheme involving school grant money uh, there was no verdict in that. So all of the Senate counts guilty uh, totally. The, uh, the shakedown uh, involving the Children's Memorial Hospital executive guilty on all counts. And the three charges involving a racing bill uh, where he was trying to pressure a racetrack owner for a uh, campaign contribution. Again, guilty on all three counts there. So that's, that's the scorecard as I have it at this point.